Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Joe's Technology. I'm Joe. This is going to be a really short video. I've been away for a little while because uh, it's uh, Thanksgiving, uh, year 2013. So, you know, these videos live forever, so I always like to say the date. <laughs> People will see it years later and say, what holidays? You know, it's the middle of July. Well, right now, uh, I, I just finished up Thanksgiving, so I had lots of family and friends. And uh, um, so, and... <clears throat> and I've been off YouTube for a little while because I've been busy, so I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. Um, if you didn't know, I'm actually an admin on another group besides uh, my own Joe's Technology group, which is called We Hate Windows 8. So if you hate Windows 8 as much as I do, uh, be sure to stop by. And in fact, this group is what this uh, quick little video is about. Um, here, let's see, where's my mouse? I probably should have did this before I started the video, but here we go. All right, I don't know if we can see this very well, but there's one user who wrote, um, you know, I want to buy a laptop. Um, uh, oh, yeah, that's right, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm praying that my laptop doesn't die till something else is available, because she would like to have the ability to buy a laptop with Windows 7. Uh, so, yeah, I was in the same position. You know, I didn't want to buy... Windows uh, 8, but I needed a new laptop. It had been about five or six years since I bought a new laptop, so I I really uh, beat my old laptop to death. These days, oh, it's no fun lugging that thing around. It's uh, I'll show a video of it sometime. The thing is like 14 pounds. <laughs> it's a really old laptop. So, um, I've always been uh, a fan of Samsung equipment. Uh, uh, the caveat there is that I've never had to RMA anything from Samsung. I hear mixed results about their service, but uh, I don't know even one way or another because I've been lucky in all their gear work. So, you know, Samsung Galaxy, I'm playing with their SSDs, and now I have a Samsung Chromebook. Uh, here, let me turn this the right way. So, uh, Samsung makes the uh, Samsung Chromebook, which runs the Chrome OS, and if you've ever had a chance to see one of these things, they you know, they'll have demos at big box stores. Uh, Best Buy, for example, will have them out. You can try them. All it is is basically a browser. Everything you do is another browser tab. Yeah, big deal, huh? You know, if there, uh, when I was a student in college, uh, I could have used something nice and simple, but I need something that can work offline. Since this is only a browser, it connects to a Wi-Fi, you know, or, or cabled internet. And outside of being connected to a, a network, this thing is basically a brick because it doesn't do anything locally. All right, well, if this thing is so limited, why are we talking about this as a possible alternative to a Windows 8 notebook? Well, I'll show you why. Here, let me... Okay, and so now that I've opened up the Chromebook, the uh, once you open up the, the screen, the uh, system powers on automatically, although there's also a, a power button here, so if I wanted to, I could uh, power it up normally. The good thing is this thing runs for, what is it, six or eight hours on a charge? It's it's so much more than my old laptop that uh, it's great. I don't even have to think about it anymore. Oh, we see this angry message. OS verification is off because the Chromebook is not running one of the OSs uh, that it recognizes, the Chrome OS. <laughs> So there's no Google signature on it showing that uh, it's uh, what Google wants, it's what I want, which in this case is a version of Linux. And as you can see, it's already booted up. Uh, this is the nice thing. The, this device has a 16 gigabyte SSD. I think I mentioned that. And so, you know, you can fit Linux in 5 gigs easily, um, which leaves 10 for documents and anything that you want to do. Now, this is not going to be for video games. It doesn't have the world's greatest video card, but it does have built-in Wi-Fi, so I can connect wherever I go. These days, everybody's offering free and open Wi-Fi. Uh, the original purpose of the Chromebook was just to act as a browser. So, of course, I've got uh, a browser set up. and In my case, I chose Firefox, uh, because that's, that's just what I happen to prefer. But if I wanted to put another type of browser, I could. Here's what the Chromebook normally can't do. Ah, LibreOffice. So, you know, if you're a poor student or like me, you just need an inexpensive little notebook to write documents, spreadsheets, databases, wherever you go, this is the way to go. LibreOffice costs nothing. Oh, whoops, here's a little message that, hey, the sound card doesn't work. That's going to be a limitation. The, uh, the, this, um, 
software that they've recompiled specifically for this processor, which in this case is the Samsung Exynos uh, 5 Dual. Unfortunately, the uh, the way the kernel is set up right now, it doesn't work correctly with the sound card. In fact, it explosively doesn't work with the sound card. There have been reports of people melting their speakers. Uh, so I, I just have mine disabled. I'm not going to deal with it. Supposedly, there are workarounds to where you can get the sound working through the um, headphone jack. I just haven't been brave enough to try it because I don't want to risk my Chromebook. I just need it to write documents. I don't care about sound. <laughs> Uh, in my case, I'm, I'm doing a little volunteer work, if, if anyone's curious. Um, and there are uh, groups out there that have uh, uh, that need help with uh, setting up websites, and so I'll go there and, and write uh, some of the web stuff with them in their meetings and see if uh, I'm getting the idea. It, it used to be that I would take a notebook with me, then you know return to them a month later, and they're like, oh, but that's not what we intended at all. Um, so this kind of helps because I can work with them side by side and we can get in the right direction. Uh, so that's the advantage for me. I, I just need to write documents. I don't care about sound. Um, this is not my entertainment device. If I want to watch Hulu or, or Web TV, you know, or Netflix, I've got my phone. Oh, and then the nice thing is that my uh, Samsung Galaxy acts as a mobile hotspot for this guy, which is, you know, Wi-Fi only. This is the cheapest Chromebook, by the way. They have 3G models, 4G models. Uh, all, you know, I didn't buy a cellular plan, you know, or anything else. It's just a, give me the $250 uh, Chromebook and, and goodbye. And, and they were wondering, well, don't you want to buy a warranty? I'm like, nah, because in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, I'm guessing this violates the warranty. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't care. Um, this makes the Chromebook so much more useful to me than it ever would have been as just a Chromebook because now I can you know open up text documents uh, oh not only that but of course uh, if you've never seen LibreOffice it's basically uh, a lot like Microsoft Office well, here let me close that the difference is that it doesn't come with the Microsoft Office price this is free it doesn't cost anything and so I'm able to do all the things that I need to on a Chromebook, which costs $250, uh, I mean, you know, we've got a complete computer here. This thing only weighs a, a few pounds. Um, it works out great. Oh, uh, the sad thing is, is that I did not video the process of setting this up. I kicked myself for this. I should have. And uh, <laughs> so this video is not about how to do this. It's just to let you know it is possible. Uh, but I'll go ahead and I'll put the instructions uh, on a, a page that I'll link to here in the, uh, the video description. So this is a good alternative to, say, buying a Windows 8 laptop. Uh, it's also a lot cheaper. 250 bucks. I can't beat that.